between red and silver, between red and silver, okay? Wow. On the right, sound blowing to me. We ain't opening up tonight unless that shit's on point. What's up, my glass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, and let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. But um, on today's video, I will be doing the part two to Raising Canaan season four. This is the character's prediction video. And part two, we will be focusing on, you guessed it, your boy Lulu. Now, um, a couple, actually, what, a couple months ago, I made a video saying that Lulu was Ghost Father. And my first original one that I had on my old channel. You know what I'm saying? It had a lot more views and comments on there then. But, uh, you know, I put it on this new one. And I see a bunch of y'all getting on here talking that shit on this one. Well, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of y'all was on there saying, oh, he's high. Oh, he's drunk. Well, guess what? <sighs> <sighs> Took a big hit. Because I'm doubling down on that shit, that glass niggas. Because Lulu is ghost dad ugly ass nigga i'm trying to tell y'all and i'm about to bring more heat more proof and that's the future that i see lulu holding in season four now i'm not exactly sure when you know what i'm saying they're gonna reveal it it could happen towards the end of the end of the uh, season it could be like a cliffhanger or something showing ghosts showing up you know what i'm saying at the end and then they, they ended on this like that. I can definitely see them doing something like that. So, Ghost Lulu may make it, you know what I'm saying, another season. I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, today's video, we, we will be focusing on Lulu. So, like normal, I posted a few clips showing you, you know what I'm saying, the relevancy of the video that I'm making. And I have... You know what I'm saying? Four clips showing you the similarities between Lulu and Ghost. So I will break them down. Here we go. Now, on the first clip, you have Ghost. And this comes from Season 6, Episode 10. When he was, um, you know, just getting the club ready for his... Um, for his um, nomination for lieutenant governor. And they were celebrating, right? And pretty much, it's a very short clip, but, you know, he's pretty much was just directing um, some of his staff members where to put certain things in the club and stuff like that to get it ready. And on the next clip, you see Lulu pretty much doing the same thing. Except, you know, he has, um, he, he's wearing this little, what little, uh, nightclub that he has. Um, you know, he was getting the stage ready for, you know, the performers and all of that. Tell me this, these images don't look alike. And also, ghosts have had many other, um, you know what I'm saying, times where he was doing exactly that too, where, you know, he's talking to his staff members. Like, for instance, I didn't put that in here, but I'll just give you another quick example. For my hardcore power fans, because y'all the only ones who will remember this, um, this will go back to season one. 
Season one, and I want to say it was, shit, episode five, maybe? Um, anyways, this is when the, the guy, Scott, was selling the bad blow up in the club, and they were trying to catch him, right? And he was talking to the staff members, talking to the girls about, you know, um, how to do it, how to catch him, and stuff like that, and telling them there's no rules and stuff like that. Looked very similar to this this um, clip that we see Lulu talking to the staff members about, you know, where to put the, you know what I'm saying, where to put the sound studios and all that. So that's just the first little, you know, comparison that I have. Next, on the next video, you see, this is when Ghost was killing Terry Silver, right? Now, Ghost kills Terry Silver for, in my opinion, two different reasons, right? The first reason, which I guess you can argue maybe the main reason was because he was bad for, you know, he was bad for business. Because if Terry Silver talked, he could potentially have incriminated all of them. And, you know, incriminated all of them. And he was like, we ain't finna take that risk. Tasha got me fucked up. I told you to stop messing around with this dude and you still doing it. So I think that's a major reason why he decided to kill him. But... Also, let's be real. He also still had love for Tasha. Proof of that. Um, episode 10, season 6. No, no, actually, sorry. Episode 15 of season 6, the very last episode. He told Tasha he still had love for her. But the problem was she didn't love him for who he, he, who he is right now. Who he wanted to be. So, he still had love for you know, Tasha, and the fact that um, punk-ass attorney that he really didn't like in the first place started smashing her behind his back on some sneaky shit, he was like, oh, yeah, that's just another reason your ass got to go. Plus, you bad for business? Yeah, you, your ass got to go, nigga. And then, let's be real, um, Tasha's next dude, uh, Quentin, he didn't do nothing to him, but he didn't like that shit either. Look, how, look at the mean mug he gave him. On um, what was that? Season six, episode. Trying to pinpoint the, the episode it was when he was looking. Episode. Was it nine? Anyways, I, I, I I'm not I'm not exactly sure on the episode, right? No, it wasn't nine. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nine. I want to say it, was, it probably was seven. But anyways. It was the same episode where he um, came into the club because uh, Tasha had took the money from him, you know, that he was trying to use for the QCP. Anyways, my point of it is Ghost has, you know what I'm saying, tendencies of not liking the people that his wife ended up going for, it, but I, for after him. Even though he don't let her alone, you know, it still does something to him. Next clip. You get to Lulu. Lulu pretty much did the same shit. Think about this. So, and it's crazy. Like I said, all the, they basically have the same story, people. They have the same story. If you haven't seen my, my uh, first clip, you know, you know my first uh, video about Lulu is a ghost father, go look at it. Because uh, it, it have more clues that I'm not going to cover on this one because I already made that video. So, but go to Lulu, you see he's killing Crown, right? And what was Crown doing? Crown was smashing his girl Jessica behind his back, just like Terry Silver was doing to Ghost, right? And both of them were supposed to have been doing business with him. And they behind his back, like he had a girl that was, you know what I'm saying, basically fucking another nigga behind his back. He didn't like that shit. And he was bad for business because he was working with Rock, his sister, behind his back, giving away percentages of the um, of ownership and talking about him behind his back. So there's two major things that he had wrong. Bad for business and you smashing his girl. Same thing with Ghost. Terry Silver was bad for business 
and he was smashing his wife. They have the same tendencies, people. It's the same person, father and son. It's literally the same thing. But also, they both have rage issues where they can just snap just like that. Don't Lulu snap out of nowhere like that and just go to beating folks' ass and stuff? Yes. Don't ghosts do the same thing? Yes. So, let's go ahead and go to the next clip. Another similarity, right? So, I think Lulu went ahead and let... Um, another thing to add to it real quick, though. Lulu kind of got over the Jessica thing, right? I think he, he, he it did affect him some. It hurt him some like that because he really did like Jessica. Maybe even loved her. You feel me? But the thing is, is that he did have Zaza, right? Zaza. So he was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got Zaza. I'm going to let, you know, I ain't, I ain't too messed up about it. And Ghost was the same thing. He had Angela. So he wasn't that messed up about it. But like I said, both of them were bad for business. So they still had to go. But anyways, like I said, the next clip. You have the last episode that we see Angie walking around, you know what I'm saying, without a bullet in her chest. The last image you see before she, well, basically this is when she took the bullet. But my point is, she took a bullet to save Ghost, right? And you go on to the next video, the next clip, boom. Same thing happened with Lulu and Ziza. Now, did Ziza purposely run herself in the way to get to, to prevent Lou from getting shot? No. But she basically took a bullet that supposed that was meant for Lou. Right? And Angela took a bullet that was meant for ghosts. It was the same shit. And a couple of other things, right, that I want to tell you, that I just want to highlight and put that out there. Why are they both attracted to Latina women? Come on now. Ghost love of his life was a Latina woman. Lou has been messing with Latina women the entire series we've seen it. Where do you think Luke Ghost taste for Latina women came from? It came from Lou, people. So y'all can keep saying I'm smoking on that loud pack, but I'm showing y'all concrete evidence. Ugly ass niggas, come on now. Nah. They both hallucinate. Come on. Nobody else really on the original power hallucinated except for Ghost. Nobody else on Raising Canaan hallucinates but go i mean but lulu why do you think that is because that's his dad you ugly ass niggas keep on trying to tell me i'm crazy i'm high i'm drunk i'm on freedom now all that shit y'all ugly ass niggas saying in them comments saying i'm high like i'm on space jam 3 i seen all that ugly ass shit y'all ugly ass niggas was saying man i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you lulu is ghost that. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for y'all glad niggas today. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to go ahead and put that out here. You know what I'm saying? Part two, Raising Canaan season four, characters' predictions, and where they're going to be headed in the direction they're going to be steered to uh, in this new season. But, yep, you know, like always, if you're cool with me, fool with me, man, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe. Hit them comments. Go ahead and tell me I'm high again. Go ahead and tell me I'm drunk again. But most importantly, after you get done telling me I'm high, make sure you share that shit with your glad friends so I can get them high too. All right. Until the next video, I'm out.